Hi everyone, I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. In this video, I want to show you how to back up and restore the settings of a Wi-Fi router. In my example, I'll be using an Asus AC68U or AC1900 router, but the instructions I'm gonna show you will also apply to other models from Asus and it will also apply to most of the Wi-Fi routers that are sold for personal use. Backing up the settings is important in case your router goes wrong for any reason. So if the router resetted or maybe if you're updating its firmware and the update goes wrong. So this way you'll have a backup of all the settings, especially if you've done some advanced settings that you don't want to lose. So let me start first by showing you how to back up the settings. To do this, you need to log in to the administration page of your router. So I'm going to switch now to screen recording to show you this. So open a web browser and go to your router's IP address. If you don't know the IP address of your router, do the following. Go to the search box and type in CMD and press enter. And in CMD, type in IP config and press enter and search for something called default gateway. And here it is. So my router's IP is 192.168.1.1. So now in the web browser, put 192.168.1.1. And here you need to put the user and the password to log into your router. So before backing up the settings, I'm going to show you some of the settings that I made so that when we reset the router and we restore the settings, you'll see that these settings will be restored automatically. So you have first your basic settings like the SSID that you see here in front of you, the password also that I've put. So this is a pre-shared key and the bands that I enabled. So here I enabled 2.4 and 5 gigahertz and you have the advanced settings. So for instance, here I've put some parental controls on my ASUS router. You see it is activated and I put my PC and I blocked all the adult content. And also here I put adaptive QoS. So it is here. So it is configured and I've put the priority for media streaming. So these are the settings that I'm going to show you once I reset the router and I restore it, they will come back. So let's back up first the settings of the router. To do this, you need to scroll in the administration page to the administration tab here, click on it. And then here you need to click on restore, save, upload settings. And here you have many options. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to under save settings, I'm going to just click on save settings. Do not check this box here because this box, you need to check it only if you're going to send the configuration file to Asus for diagnostics. And this is not the purpose of this video. So simply click on save settings. When you click on save settings, you might receive this message that your browser couldn't download the file because it misinterpreted for a malicious file. So what you need to do here is simply click on the three dots here and then click on keep and the download will continue. So this is now the file downloaded. I downloaded it in the downloads folder and here it is now. So now I'm going to simulate that my router went bad. So I'm going to reset it to the factory defaults and then we're going to restore these settings. I'm going to show you how to restore them and how everything will work as usual. So to reset the router, I'm going to do it from here directly. So I'm going to click on restore factory settings here. And OK, and now the router is resetting. So I'm going to come back when the router resets. Now the router resetted. To be able to connect to the administration page of the router once again, so to restore the settings file, you need to connect to the default Wi-Fi network that the router creates when it is resetted. So let me show you how to do this. So on your Windows machine, you need to click on the Wi-Fi icon on the bottom right corner of your screen. And then here you need to select the default Wi-Fi network of the router that was resetted. Here I have two routers and this is why I still have Wi-Fi. You might not have Wi-Fi here if you have only one router, of course, and you resetted the router. So this is the default Wi-Fi network that the Asus creates. So it's an open network. I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to click simply on connect here. And you see it is open network, so it will connect automatically. So now we need to switch back to the administration page of the router. So now in the web browser, put 192.168.1.1. So now you see it went to the wizard page to set up the router as if it is new. So now what we need to do is to click on advanced settings. And under advanced settings, you see here, it gives us the option to upload a settings file. 
and this is what we need to do of course if you have a router other than the asus router you need to look for this option for your specific router so here i'm gonna click on upload and then i'm gonna go to downloads where i downloaded the settings file and then i'm gonna select it this is it click on open and you see now all the settings are being applied to the router so now the router will be automatically configured with all the settings that it had before it was reset while the restore is taking place i wanted also to tell you that if you didn't reset your router or if your router is still working and you want to restore the settings anyways you can go to the administration page of your router and you click on administration and here under restore save upload you choose restore settings here and here you choose the file and this is the same procedure as i'm doing now also if you're liking this video so far please consider subscribing to my channel and giving this video a thumbs up this would really help the channel so now the settings are applied and as you see the router told us that the ssid changed of course because we applied the settings the default ssid of the asus router changed to the ssid that was before we reset the router so here because i connected previously to the ssid before we deleted it it connected automatically to the administration page of the router so i'm gonna log back in and show you how everything was restored and as you see the login here was restored so the administration user and password was restored and here let's check the parental controls so you see the parental controls also was enabled and the settings for the parental control is still here and let's check now the qs and also the qs was enabled and the media streaming that was applied before resetting the router it is here and all the settings of the router like the ssid and the passwords are here so that was it on how to back up and restore the settings of your Wi-Fi router. I hope that this video was useful to you. If it was, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it, and this will help my channel greatly. And this way, you'll not miss my future videos. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. I want to thank you all for watching my video, and see you in the next one.